Hello everybody, it is Monday morning, um, just before nine o'clock. It was a really rainy weekend and I found a lot of stuff. So I think I'm gonna make three videos. Um, I'm just trying to get comfortable. This is uh, Saturday, I went to the grocery store in between the rain and uh, took a walk down a different lane and ran into a friend of mine, which was nice because I hadn't seen her in a while, but I also found this bag. It is very heavy and it is, uh, this is gonna be a long video. This is a big find. Like this is somebody's entire closet and it's really, really nice clothing. It's all very small. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of hats, <laughs> this one, and then this one is kind of squished. This would be nice, um, for a wedding, but it just makes me look weird. So Gloria, the lady who's been picking up for me, will be very excited at this week's find because like I said, it's tons. A lot of it is Zara and Wilfred. This is Wilfred. Uh, there's a little bit of H&M mixed in. There's a lot of body suits. This is H&M. Uh, this is Sunday Best, which we all know is the brand at Aritzia. Um, oh, this is really nice. These are um, Zara. They're pants. They're still part of the tag on. Oh, let me look at this. Get a little bit more so you guys can see some more visibility. Super nice, but yeah, the tag, part of the tag is still on. So nice. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to keep. There's too many clothes to decide. I might keep this. This is a, like, just like a, I don't know, casual jacket from H&M. I think it'd be really good for like camping and stuff in the summer. So I might keep that one. Uh, this is Babaton. It sort of reminds me of uh, Lululemon. But yeah, somebody really small will be really happy to get uh, their hands on this. This is Aritzia, a little crop hoodie. It's waffle, uh, so it's nice and cozy. I think I have a little cold coming on, so I'm a little congested. Um, these are just some leggings. I've been thinking about these videos. It's been, uh, it's been a fun, uh, fun thing to do. This is a, just a nightgown. That's kind of cute. It's got clouds all over it. That's really, um, I thought it was shorts at first, but no, it's a nightgown. It's like a fuzzy pajama material. <laughs> Um, this is an interesting blazer. It's like velvet on one side and then like the wool fabric on the other. It's cute. This outfit, I think, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable. <laughs> this video is going to be long. I found a lot of stuff. I think this is going to be like a cute little bit, um, outfit to shoot in. These are both Zara. Look at these pants. They're so fun. Yeah, just little pull on like dress pants. So those I'll keep to shoot in, not me, my model. And then there's this that I thought could go with it. This person really liked, um, yeah, these little onesies. Oh, this is nice. This is Bershka. Yeah. So I think this is also um, Aritzia. I might actually keep this because this I could use for work and it has some really nice pockets. It's a little pilled on the front, so I just maybe give it a shave. But yeah. <laughs> This is uh, just a blouse from H&M. I noticed there's a little bleach spot on it. So, you know, when you get bleach on black, just run a Sharpie over it. I might keep that. 
the bag, like I said, it's it like I had to really be mindful of my walk home <laughs> because it was very heavy. Oh, this is a turtleneck by Babaton. A few of this, like some of these things I might try on and see, but I don't know. There's really like extra small. This is from Abercrombie and Fitch. Body suits, I guess, is what I'm is the word I was looking for earlier. <clears throat> Another turtleneck. This is from Zara. That's really cute, actually. Um, this bodysuit from Zara. I don't really care for bodysuits because I have to pee in them in an emergency. I don't want something covering things up. This is Sunday Best. This is really super soft. I'm actually going to try it because I feel like I could just, I don't know, snip it. <laughs> Uh, this is Wilfred, little tiny sweater. This person must have been so small. <clears throat> this is also Wilfred, little sort of tiny collared sweater. Um, this is kind of interesting. I don't know how, it still has a price tag on it. It's like a little, I don't know, throw? Not sure. Some guest jeans, 26, they're so tiny. Part of me envies people that are this small. I don't know why, it feels like the world is built for them. Um, oh, a nice, uh, this is uh, a, again, something from Zara with like the part of the tag on skirt. It's really long, but it's nice. Crop top from Hollister. And this outfit, uh, there's these pink, like big corduroy pants. And then this top, they're both Sunday best. So I think I might keep those to shoot in. And uh, there's a Victoria's Secret um, robe. It's really, it's kind of nice actually. There's a belt with it. I'm just gonna put it through the loop so it doesn't get lost. And I'm just doing a little knot. Cause if I donate these, they will pass through many hands and it would be nice if that sort of stayed attached. It's really nice. These little, look at these shoes are from Aldo. They're a size six. I'm gonna keep these in case I have models with small feet. It's nice to have shoes. Um, and then like a little crossbody bag. It's kind of nice. Yeah, nice for an event. And three t-shirts. So I set these aside because I think I'm definitely gonna keep them. This is from Hollister, um, Daydreaming Hollister, California, and it has like a little unicorn on it. This one's really cool. It's a self-portrait at sunset with flowers. I don't know who the artist is. It doesn't say, but it's uh, watercolor on paper. It just says create more art, and it's from Pulling Bear. And then of course, I saved the best for last. Look at this. This is also from Pulling Bear. So yeah. That's massive, like all in one go. And it was in, I was double bagged. So two garbage bags. So this is incredible. That's gonna make somebody really, really happy. Um, on to the next one. Okay. <laughs> I changed my hair for this one. It's getting so long. I got a, a haircut coming up on the 21st. It's super long. So I did find two very large bags of um, guys' men's clothing. Not as large as what I just showed you, but decent size. And I just, I went through them really quick. And uh, we have a person who comes, who uh, takes the bottles from our building, Carol. Uh, they live in the downtown east side, so I gave both bags to them because they wear a lot of, um, even though they're female, they wear a lot of men's clothing. And there were some jackets in there. Um, it was a bunch of stuff. So I, two kind of Walmart large bags um, that I passed on to her. So 
she said she would just keep whatever she wanted and pass on uh, what she didn't want. This is from that. Um, just a little smattering, as it were. Um, <laughs> should I keep on my lap? This is Club Monaco, size large, nice cardigan. Um, it's wool and there's a few holes in it, but I kind of like it. It's been, I think it's been washed. It's a little bit misshapen. Let me see. Yeah, it's merino wool and nylon. So it's kind of nice. I like a good cardigan. This Banana Republic, um, it's sort of a distressed tee. It's oversized. You know me in an oversized tee. I love that. This sweater is so nice. This is also uh, Club Monaco. This is a size medium. Uh, let's look at the material before I show it to you. This is also wool and nylon, uh, linen and elastine. It is so soft. I actually shot this weekend and my model wore this. She's like, oh, it's the perfect dad sweater. It's really so super soft. Um, this is uh, a mercantile sweater from J. Crew, extra small. For me, this kind of all goes to get. This is like, like all of these sweaters. This is a no-name brand, large. A um, couple of holes in it. It's uh, definitely a wool sweater. Let's see what the contents are. 50% wool and 50% yak. <laughs> so yeah, this was all combined with a whole bunch of men's clothes. So um, I don't spend a lot of time. I think there was one time that I went through a whole bunch of men's shirts with you on here, but because it was just, um, there was some uh, running gear and stuff like that. And there was a pair of sneakers. So I just kind of felt it was best just to pass it on. And uh, I'll see Carol again sometime this week. She comes once a week to collect bottles from our building. So I'm sure I'll see her soon and check out what uh, maybe she'll be wearing some of it. It was all clean too, which was wonderful. But I kept what I wanted, which was all the wool. I love this. I would love to like wear all these sweaters at one time <laughs> and uh, just put this on as a base layer. It's a, just a linen uh, blend t-shirt, but it's so lovely. All right, on to the next pile. All right, find number three. Uh, again, with all of the rain, I try to find and bring home uh, whatever I can so that it doesn't get wet because as soon as it gets wet, it just ends up as this nasty mess on the ground and nobody will take it. So this, um, I found a couple of piles just before the big rain yesterday. So I picked them up. Um, uh, I think these are Joe Fresh Athletic, Athletic. Yeah, Joe Fresh Active. Somebody will really dig these. Uh, this is a shirt from Forever 21. It's kind of cute. Just a little sheer number. A bra, still in really good condition. Uh, and some sweatpants. These have a really nice detail on the leg. Like, I enjoy that. And then what's the brand is called Humor. And the logo is like a little head with headphones on it. So those are cool. So that was one pile, just quickly on my way home. I'm gonna keep it separate. I don't know why. <laughs> Weird organization. And then this is another pile. Here, I'll bring it down here. This has got some really nice stuff in it, actually. Uh, this shacket from The Gap. You know me, I'm a huge fan of the Gap. It's extra small, it fits. I might throw it in the wash, work it into the circulation. We'll see, I'll set that aside, I'll think about it. Nice cozy waffle. And then just a few shirts. I noticed a lot of them are stained, so I don't know if somebody had a hard time ironing, but this would be a nice, pink linen shirt, but it's got a big stain on the front, which is really sad. 
Um, this is another just Calvin Klein short sleeve shirt. And then this is from Zara. I think it's Zara Men's. It's kind of cute. Uh, there's a couple stains on this too. Whoever had these had a cat. <laughs> I can always tell. Um, this is from Brunette the Label. I think it says, I got it from my mama, <laughs> which is really funny. Not keeping that. And this is, uh, this is where I knew the cat because it's, this is full of fur. This is from Old Navy. It's like a scuba hoodie. Really nice. Little incognito pockets. So yeah, that's the weekend's finds. It's a shit ton of clothes. <laughs> um, just putting together some videos. Uh, you guys have any comments, suggestions, anything? Let me know. My nose is itchy because <laughs> cat hair. Anyway, I hope you had a great long weekend and I also hope that it wasn't as rainy in your area as it was in mine. Even though it was, we still got outside. Still enjoyed just being outside. All right, guys. Take care and we'll see you soon. More finds. Stay tuned.